Hey guys, I'm back. Um, so, we left off... Where did we leave off? Oh, it's the day of the festival. And this time I came prepared. <laughs> so I don't have to go looking for those files. I already have them open. Since apparently they're important. And I decided to shuffle through. And before I was saying I didn't find anything. Well, either I missed it or something was added, which is probably why people were telling me to look at this. Let's see if I can switch this over. Nope, I can't. Okay, we're just gonna forget about that. Anyway, I'll just put the image up on the screen real quick, but it's called Happy Thoughts, only the A in happy and the O in thoughts are X's. And it is creepy. It's clearly Sayori because it has the bow on the head. And I don't know what she has on her head, but it's like her eyes are, are blacked out, kind of like, like glitchy. It's, it's weird. I don't know. I opened it up and I was like, what the hell? All right. So, so far, I think that's the only thing I found. Either way, they got, this sort of goes hand in hand. I know yesterday, Sayori was not a happy camper. But we said that we'd hang out on the day of the festival, which is supposedly today. And, uh... <clears throat> I don't know. We said that we'd hang out, but she didn't seem too happy about the fact that I didn't tell her that I loved her, and I didn't save my game, so I can't go back and just say that to see what would happen. But I guess that would be sort of ruining it for myself if I do more than one choice at a time. I don't know. <clears throat> I guess we'll see what happens. So, uh, let's see. It's the day of the festival. Of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori. Is it just me or is it super quiet? Like, no music at all? Yeah, I don't hear any music. But Sayori isn't answering her phone. I considered going to her house to wake her up, but decided that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. The banner Yuri and I painted is dry, and I gently rolled it up to take it with me. She sent me a pleasant text reminding me to not forget anything, and I, re and I reassured her. Ugh. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Yuri after the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. Light! You're the first one here. What? <laughs> Thanks for being early. That's funny, I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing little booklets on each, each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones she prepared that has all the poems we're performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and I submitted it. <laughs> it's like, it's not even my own. I, I can't be bothered with that crap. So that's one, so that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You'd think that on a day, on days this important, she'd try a little harder. I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday. And I suddenly feel awful knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But, maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all? Ahaha. <laughs> you should take a little more responsibility for her, Light. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. She's like, I'm psychic. <laughs> I'm the club pre club club club. No, no, no. I'm the club president after all. Yes, you are. But I stammer, embarrassed. Did Sayori really tell her about it that quickly? They're besties, I guess. About how I basically turned down her confession. That makes me really seem like the bad guy here. <laughs> But I'm the one who knows what's best for her, right? You're starting to sound like a mom, dude. Jeez. You don't know the full story at all, so... Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Okay. <clears throat> eh? Yeah, that's, that's my, my thoughts exactly, dude. 
Monica is being as friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. Yeah. Is this like a, a big brother kind of thing? <laughs> I'm not a conspiracy theorist at all, but this is creepy. It's almost like she knows it's that whatever. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desk. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flipped through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize Natsuki's and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed at our practice. What's this? I flipped to Sayori's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one I've never read before. Whoa! Get out of my head, get out of my head. I'm not going to read all that, but it's just get out of my head like... Wow. It doesn't even have a title, it's just a percent sign? What the heck? Get out of my head. Get out of my head before I do what's best, what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Monica, what the hell did you do to her? <laughs> Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. Uh, yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking too. Uh, what is this? Reading the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Light? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. This poem feels completely different from everything else Sayori's written. But more than that... I changed my mind. I'm gonna go get Sayori, so... Uh... Well, alright. Try not to take too long, okay? I just got really nervous. That picture that I saw... And then that... What the hell is going on? Am I starting to get to the disturbing stuff now? <laughs> I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Monica calls out th calls that out after me. Yeah. Whatever. I quicken my pace. What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal to at least wait for her or help wake her up. Even the simple gesture of walking her to school makes her feel really happy. Or it makes her really happy, but either way that worked. <laughs> Besides, I told her yesterday that things would be the same as they always have been. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. That's all she needs and what I want to give her. I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she hasn't been picking up her phone either. Oh my god, is this... Did she... Uh... Like yesterday, I opened the door and I let myself in. My heart is pounding, <laughs> I'm just saying. Sayori? She really is a heavy sleeper. Oh, what if she's not sleeping, dude? I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house? Isn't that more like something a boyfriend would do? In any case, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. <coughs> what is wrong with my throat today? Sayori? Wake up, dummy! There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter her room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. Say or- <gasps> Oh my lord! Why? No! Oh. Whoa. An exception has occurred. Game script blah 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 line 307 see traceback.txt for details. Dot dot dot. Alright, wait, I want to look at that because obviously that's one of those things. That, oh my god, <laughs> my heart is like, whoo, it jumped into my throat. Oh, poor Sayori. Restart top context. Oh geez, I didn't break anything, did I? Hold on a sec, I can probably, wait, I can probably fix this, I think. Actually, you know what? This would probably be a lot easier if I just deleted her. She's the one who's making this so difficult. Haha, <laughs> well, here goes nothing. Uh, okay. Oh no, 
that's so sad. Sayori, why? What the hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Sayori wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I suppress the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Sayori I would be there for her. I told her what I know what's best and that everything will be okay. <coughs> Sorry again. Then why? Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? How could you be such an idiot? What did I do wrong? You didn't tell her that you loved her. Turning down her confession, that has to have been what pushed her over the edge. Her agonized scream still echoes in my ears. Why did I do that to her when she needed me the most? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me I no, that keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and gave her what I know she wanted out of our relationship, then I could have prevented this. Yeah, but then at the same time he would have made himself unhappy. You know, so it's like if he tells her that he loves her even when he really doesn't, he makes her happy, but then he makes himself unhappy or whatever. I know I could have prevented this. And that's the thing, too. Like, if I had just chosen the option that says I love you, like, it may not have been the kind of I love you that she wanted, but, you know, best friends love each other, too. At least for the most part. You know, there's some best friends that are like, ew, what? No. But there's a special sort of, like, love or bond that you have with your best friend that you don't have with anybody else. So that could still be considered love. I feel like I should have just chosen that option. Dang, man, I'm kicking myself. And I didn't save... Like I should have. <laughs> Damn it. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I can do... Wait, nothing I do can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. Well, <laughs> yeah, actually it is, but we're not going to do that. I had only one chance and I wasn't careful enough. And now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed from me. And now, I can never take it back. Never. 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 Da da da. And, oh my god, I just started this. Hold on, wait. I just started this only 13 minutes ago. This is a 13 minute play. So, ah! Um, that's not... That's... Oh... What do I do in this situation? This doesn't even say new game anymore, it's just corrupted. So is Sayori. Oh my god, she actually did delete Sayori! Whoever she is! I don't know, Monica knows more than... She even says, like, I think, I, and I know more than you think I do. Is she the one that's doing this crap? Because, um, Sayori's gone. She's deleted. She's not even in the character files anymore. And that happy thoughts picture. Ugh. I do not like that at all. Alright, so do I, can I click new game? I guess. I guess that's what I have to do, right? Ugh! What? How am I supposed to read the- I'm little, little, little. <laughs> That's what it is. A little bit from no one. The question mark. I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is blah blah blah, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because we've known each other for so long. Okay, so this is just basically everything that I already did, only not with Sayori. But that said, it was the end of the game. Maybe it was the end of the game with Sayori in it. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. 
I just sigh and idle in front of the class, the, the class, <laughs> the crosswalk, and let uh, catch up to me. Ugh! I don't like that. Uh, things like that glitchy. Okay, so everything just went back to normal then. <laughs> everything glitchy, like those kind of glitchy things, they really freaked me out. So that was. Ugh. It's an ordinary school day like any other. Oh, the dialogue completely changed. Mornings are usually the worst, being surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that, but I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. There's always the anime club, but it's not like... It's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. What? Yeah, there would. <laughs> the school day is as ordinary as ever and it's over before I know it. I pack up my things, stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. There aren't really any that interest me. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Light? <sighs> Jesus. Monica? That was clearly not right- Oh, <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like it at all. <laughs> oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect to see you here. Yeah, you totally did. You totally expected to see me here. There's something up with you. It's been a while, right? Uh, yeah, it has. Wait, that get out of my head poem. It could have been referring to the character, the male character. You know, she wants the character to get out of her head. Or could it be referring to Monica? Because she knows all this stuff, and she said, before I do, what was it, before I do the, what she told me to do, or something like that, she was talking about, well, whoever's manipulating the files, which I have a good feeling is this one right here. Hmm. Alright. Monica smiles sweetly. I am not good at theorizing things at all, so don't even, just ignore what I just said. <laughs> we do know each other, well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in the class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Besides, completely out of my- or basically completely out of my league. Uh, Jeez, I am still so, like, shaken from that whole thing. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... What did you come in here for, anyway? She's following you, bruh. Uh, I've just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. Stop it! I have, like, a, a notebook appropriately <laughs> put it on my desk here and it has like a magnetic like flap that closes it and I was just taking a drink of my iced tea and I put my cap down and when I did it just sort of gravitated over to the magnet and I couldn't pick it back up oh sorry bumped the microphone I so she's looking for supplies for her club do you know if there are any con if there if there are any construction grammar ooh. do you know if there's any construction paper in here or markers I guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? Uh, about that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. Okay, this is pretty much the same as it was, but... It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. A literature club. Why? Why did that happen? Literature? That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um, uh, it's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. But it's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know? Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Oh! Okay. So there was someone who was interested in that. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that man man ooh, manga is literature, too. Some people call it manga. Some people call it manga. Like, am I saying it right here? I don't know. No one's corrected me, so I guess that's alright. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member's a member, right? Did Monica say she? Oh, here we go. Hmm. 
Hey, Light. By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Uh, I mean, I guess so, but... In that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? Oh, jeez. If it's not Sayori, it's you, right? Just trying to... Just throw me into a freaking club. Toss me right in! I won't ask you to join, but... If you could at the very least visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please! Um, well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? I was gonna make a joke, but I don't want to do that, that godfather imitation, but yeah, all I could think of was, I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. I usually, I, I can do the impression, but I don't want to do it, because I don't want to make a fool out of myself, but I do it like around the house, like a joke and stuff, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just gonna shut up now. Um, sure, I guess I could check it out. Ah, awesome. So wait, does it just did it, uh, blah, blah, did this just restart? Well, of course it did. I hit new game. What would have happened if I hit load? Hmm. You're really sweet, light. You know that? It's nothing really. Shall we go then? I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. Aw, thank you. I appreciate that. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. Oh, okay. So it's different. I didn't sell my soul for a cupcake because I don't know about the cupcakes. If there are any this time. I don't know. I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, generally er, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. I'm back! And I brought a guest with me. Eh? Ah! Jesus fudge, man, that scared me. A guest? Seriously, you brought a boy? Alright, hold on. Let's get this straight. Again, I'm a girl, okay? Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Light. Da da da. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. <laughs> so let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, I'm not. Natsuki, the girl with the sour attitude, whose apparent, whose name, the, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual, and this is Yuri, the vice president. It's nice to meet you, Yuri, who appears completely. Er, completely, comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So I ran into Light in a classroom, and she decided to come check out the club. <laughs> I love how I always change the heat of the sheet. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica. Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to, well, you know. Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into her. <laughs> In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Oh, there aren't cupcakes this time. I'm crying. I want cupcakes. Okay, sorry. Why don't you come sit down, Light? <coughs> Excuse me. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Atsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Yeah, everyone, including your missing member. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. Well, there would have been, but you deleted her. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people here are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't really grab your attention, like literature. <laughs> you have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events, like the festival, that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. <laughs> Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard to find out- find these two. Yeah, all, just these two. Never mind the one that was in it. Ugh. It's gonna frustrate me. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. 
She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? I've read all this before. Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea enjoy help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. Ahead, don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, that's not insulted. Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. <laughs> I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, like, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. Man manga. Manga. I don't even think I'm saying that right. Man manga. 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 That stuff. Japanese graphic novels. <laughs> I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after Yuri's sad after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsman craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid the moment I walked in, but it's obvious the way her eyes light up that she finds comfort in the world of books, not people. Okay, maybe it's not all the same. Maybe it is. I don't know. I can't. I don't remember. <laughs> Maybe I should have watched my first video before playing this, but it's not like I knew this was going to happen. <sighs> but you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with a deep psychological st stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Yeah, I remember that because I was like, "Hey, wait a second. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Okay. I read. I read a horror book once, long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well have been having a conversation with a rock. Uh, never gets old. Uh, I'd expect. I'd expect that from you, Yuri. It suits your personality. Oh, is that so? Really, if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I can't put. It, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind at the last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud! <laughs> and give that back. Fine, fine. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess, sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No. Natsuki ad averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing the, the even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfort comfortable enough to share hers. I went turkey there for a second. <laughs> ta -ta -ta. I guess it's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I just got an idea. How about this? Ta -ta -ta, question mark. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Oh, we gotta do this again? Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um, dot dot dot. Uh, I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well, I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities for all of us to participate in together. 
I did decide to take on the res 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 responsibility of vice president after all. Oh, okay. So she's not- so basically since Sayori is gone, Yuri is the vice president. Hmm. I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree as well, Light? Sure. <laughs> Hold on, there's still one problem. Oh. Eh, what's that? This is where I break the news that I'm like, ah, I'm not part of this club. Now that we've reached the most important topic, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made an any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... I lose my train of thought. All three girls stare, stare blankly back at me with dejected eyes. But... I'm sorry, I thought... <laughs> of course, Natsuki would just respond. <laughs> Why did you do that? <laughs> uh, the girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. I guess I need to tell you the truth, Light. The thing is, we don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need four. And I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one before the festival... Dot, dot, dot. I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? I would feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. And besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls... Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls light up. The girls' eyes light up. Yes, if the girls lit up, there'd be a problem. <laughs> oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that, Light? Yeah. It could be fun, right? You really did scare me for a moment. I mean, if... If you really just left after all this, I would be super pissed. Light, I'm so happy. We can become an official club now! Yay, I guess. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. Okay. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? Well, that sounds kind of creepy. Not creepy, but like... Back up. <laughs> uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Light, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? <laughs> I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue chit to chit chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow then. I can't wait. With that, I depart the club room and make my way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. I'm still gonna try to pick Yuri! Alright. I just need to make the most of my decisions. <laughs> what? Make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good for- good for- oh my god. <laughs> good fortune will find me! And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Uh-huh. You've unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Oh, that's new. Yes. Uh, what? N-O-T-H... Nothing is real with a question mark uh okay uh. all right i'm gonna do all these that i think are gonna be for her oh or not
Contamination. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, just for just for Natsuki, I did like one. Okay, two. Oh, and that one was supposed to be for Yuri, but I ended up whatever. Hi again, Light. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Haha. <laughs> yeah. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I kept my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for the. Why? Thanks for keeping your promise, Light. Don't do that! Don't. No. Bad, Yuri. Don't. No glitching. Not allowed. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Ah! That freaked me out. <laughs> that totally freaked me out. Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. She, sorry, you already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Nat Natsuki, you're standing in the way, Monica. Natsuki certainly has a big mouth for someone who keeps a manga collection in the club room. M -m Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga manga wait how did she why was she hmm monica's up to something i don't like it manga is literature <laughs> but twilight is not <laughs> swiftly defeated natsuki plops back into her seat i'm sorry light we'll make sure to put your comfort first okay yeah, so don't glitch like you did before, because that's not comfortable for me at all. Yuri shoots Natsuki with a disappointed glance. Um, anyway. Now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might have interest in... Yeah, in picking up a book to read? I was actually reading that correctly. I didn't feel like I was. Well, I can't really say no either way. Like you said, I'm in this club now. So it only feels right for me to do something like that, if you ask. Oh, wait. I didn't mean it like that. Uh. If you don't really want to, then forget anything I said. I guess. Uh, no, it's not that, Yuri. I want to try to be a part of this club. So even if it, if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you wanted me to. Are you sure? I just felt like, well, as vice president and all that I should help you get started on something you might like. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked a book that I thought you might enjoy. Is it just me, or is she, like... Am I losing my... Ah! Ew! Look! In the bag, it's a picture of Sayori. Hanging. Aww. I was gonna say, isn't Yuri a little closer than she normally was or something? Maybe not. Something just seems off. Maybe it's that. Maybe it caught my attention before I even realized it did. I don't know. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. I think I already read that, but whatever. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. I just, I feel like Yuri's a lot closer than she was before. I feel like before she was sort of far further away. I don't know, I'm probably losing my mind. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take out the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone is settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. That picture is still there. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around the closet. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. 
but at the same time I would feel bad f for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book that she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Ah. Crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me and our eyes meet for a split second. Dot dot dot. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. Sorry. I was just spacing out. I mutter this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh. It's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. I just wanted to reread some of it. Ah! What the hell? I just realized now that she's all kinds of messed up. Look. Her eyes are like... Her face is all offset. Oh, this is so... Is that moving? It is! Her eye is legit moving! What is happening right now? I wanted to reread some of it. Uh, not for any particular reason. Just curious, how come you have two copies of the same book? Uh, well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday... Oh, that's not what I meant. I mean... I just happened to buy two of them. Ah, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. Yeah, like, maybe because her eye was floating away. <laughs> it's like, it's just floating right off her body. It's like, nah, I'm done. I'm out of here. See you later. <laughs> just starts, I wonder how long it could have done that. Maybe it would have ended up, like, over here or something. <laughs> it would have been, like, all the way over there. Ugh. Jesus. This is freaky, man. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's the story about, anyway? Well, mm, I look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. It's an um, there's an omulus, uh, um, omulus, a little um, ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. All the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. Yikes. But the facility gets even worse and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to... Oh, that might be a bit of a spoiler. <laughs> but anyway, I'm really into it. The book, I mean. Not the thing about the limbs. That's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. Ah. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Light? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outsider, but her mind seems to be completely different. Like, super dark! It's just that kind of story... That this kind of story is the kind that challenges you to look at life from, from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone who wants to be evil, but because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway, why is that text different? Ugh. Then suddenly... I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. Ugh. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well... I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know I have this problem. When I, when I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, my whole body gets incredibly- Okay, I didn't get a chance to read that, but whatever. Wait, history? It's not there. Okay. How did I know? That's just- I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about writing. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. Ah. That's... Well, that's true. In fact... 
I might as well get started reading it, right? Yes! Oh my god! Why? Game, why you do this to me? Because I know that Sayori's gone, everything's glitching and weird and stuff. Stop that! Stop! Damn it, Yuri. Maybe it's you doing it, because you've you been the one glitching the whole dang time. Your eye was floating away from your face. Ugh. Yes, I mean, you don't have to, but... Uh, what are you saying? Hold on. Ugh. This is making me... Ugh. I'm on the edge of my seat. Like, well, not literally. I'm, my butt's still exactly where it's supposed to be. But, ugh. Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Ah! Yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just not something I'm very used to. That is reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. I open the book and start the prologue. As soon as... I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. D sorry! I was just- I was just bathing in the- with something about body heat and- okay, whatever. Yuri, you really like to apologize a lot, don't you? Can you, like, not... Like, when it, that black text comes up, like, let me read it before it just disappears? Please? Ugh. I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... Ahaha. Uh, Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's and then hold my book more between the two of them. Oh, the desks. I was gonna say, why are you referring to yourself in the third person? Didn't I say that the first time that I played this? I'm pretty sure that I said that exact... Wow, this got creepy because I just made it creepy. Awesome. Anyway. Ah. I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we, once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so I instead use my right hand to hold the book open. I guess it make, makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Yuri takes her left arm and holds it to the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah. I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way, I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. Oh, jeez. As if I can feel- it's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. <coughs> Are you ready? Eh? Huh? To turn the page. <laughs> she's just like, seriously? Uh, sorry. I think I got a little bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. I don't know if I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me... Yeah, thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page page feels um wow feels like an intimate exchange. Almost feels like an intimate exchange. Well, right back to the not being able to read thing. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Yeah, because a guy would see that as an intimate exchange. <sighs> hey, Gary. This might be a silly thought, but. <clears throat> <clears throat> the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Eh? Ah! Her face! That's a... I don't remember seeing that. 
No, I, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way that she second guesses things she says and all that. Nah. That's what you were talking about. Sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. Which is why you had that big old freaking smile on your face? <coughs> something else? <laughs> Never mind. We didn't even get that far yet. Her freaking eyes. So I don't know why that came into my head. Aha. Uh -huh. Yuri, are you feeling alright? Eh? Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri puts her hand on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What was up with that creepy smile? What on earth was that about? That's what I'm saying! And the creepy smile, at least that freaking poster's back to normal. Light? That's me. Did something happen just now? Eh? I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything. Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no, not really. She's just freaking weird. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. No, nothing. <laughs> Don't worry, I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? Yeah? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so we just figured we'd get started without her. Why will she be a while? Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note where I left off in the book and then slip it into my bag. And I'm going to make a mental note of where I am in this game because for some reason I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> oh, I only showed to Natsuki and Monica. How about Monica? She always gives me like tips and I want to know what she has to say. I should start with Monica. Yesterday she, se she, se <laughs> she seemed eager to read my poem and I want her to know I'm putting in effort. Yesterday she seemed eager to read my poem. But yesterday I didn't write a poem. Oh, she just, she was eager to see what I would write. Ah, <laughs> oh, lordy, I think I need to go back to bed. Hi, Light. Hi, Monica. Having a good time so far? I would if people weren't being so glitchy and giving creepy smiles like... Is Yuri a fan of Undertale or something? Seriously, the creepy smile reminds me of... Never mind. I don't, why do I keep... Like, I merge games all the time. Like, oh, this reminds me of such and such. That reminds me of the... the, 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 the. Like when she said, Puddle of Ink. It reminded me of Bendy and the Ink Machine. The freaking creepy smile reminds me of Shara from Undertale. Don't judge me for the way that I say her name. Dang it. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. Yeah, it'd be a lot better if people would stop glitching. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things that we can do better, I'm always listening. Yes, I'm sure you are. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Can we just sort of go back a minute? Why? But, no, never mind. I'm not gonna go back, because that's just dumb. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, you want to share your poem with me? Not particularly. It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. I just sounded like a little, like, valley girl. It's kind of, it's kind of blah blah blah, but I guess I have to. <laughs> or like, Metaton. Again, with the crossover references, damn it. Ahaha. <laughs> Don't worry, Light. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. Great job, Light. I was gonna say- or I, I was going ooh in my head while reading it. <laughs> okay. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. 
That way it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> ah, that's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? That's exactly why I did it. Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean it like it's a bad thing, though. But sometimes I get the impression she's just totally given up on people. She spends too much time in her own head that it's probably much, a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interaction, so I don't blame her. Uh, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Okay, like earlier. I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for a long time. Suddenly, the door opens. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. There hasn't been a glitch in a while, so I'm kind of worried. Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Eh? Already? Uh, I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more glad that you took the time that you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. Yeah, I was right before. She was closer. She was close when she was standing here, she was closer to the to me. Like standing closer. I don't know. When the poster was messed up. I suppose I should go get my poem now. Oh, and the the um classroom was like tilted to the side almost, kind of. Yeah, I suppose I should go get my poem now. I think I already read that, but whatever. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. It doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in the wall. But he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically gl glance around my surroundings, but my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are there any others in the room? Are they talking? Are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantic scrawling playing tricks in on my ears. The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. Is this a continuation of her first one? Because if I remember correctly, um, she was saying that he, the, like, the ending was, um, he's looking in or something. I don't know. I don't freaking know. So what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you'd call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Haha, <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. There, that is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say I had kind of an epiphany recently. It's been influencing my influencing <laughs> influencing my po poems. Oh my god, influencing my influencing my poems a bit. <sighs> okay, an epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain can get too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. Oh yeah, that. That was the line that I was referring to. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Who should I show my poem to next? Natsuki! Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. What the f- What the hell was that?! Oh my god. Like, if you're not gonna take this club seriously, then go home. That legit just scared the sh like ease out of me. I'm trying so hard not to swear because I don't like to swear on my channel, but my god! 
What? Harsh. What? You expect me to believe that you're actually putting effort into this? Do you think I'm stupid? I'm not a writer. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put an effort. We all start somewhere, right? If you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. Painful to think about? Fine. Well, sorry. You'll get better anyway. I'd tell you what to improve, but you're better off just trying again. Jeez, she's rude. Like, I don't- this is- okay, whatever. Fair enough. Well, to each their own, I guess. Anyway, I gotta- I guess I gotta share mine now. Knowing you'll probably think it's stupid. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can see. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try, but that's about it. That's the same poem she already did. Yeah. I told you they weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't take my writing seriously. But isn't it the point of... Isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? There's about to be a cat fight, I'm just letting you know. <laughs> your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do, doing really great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then it made, but then made it fall on, ugh, it made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess I went into into it more than I realized. I'm like. I'm so paranoid that something else is gonna happen that I'm just sort of like glancing around the classroom. <sighs> That's what it means to be a pro. Yeah, okay. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. Eh? What was that? Dot dot dot. Did I just say that out loud? Yuri first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. I... Ugh. He's gonna hate me. Um, you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Eh? That's... I guess you're right. <laughs> what am I getting so nervous for? Haha. <laughs> Yuri takes a deep breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicate you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Well, that's a huge compliment coming from you. It's actually my first time, really. Huh? Yuri stares at me blankly and then looks at my poem again. Well, I know that. I just meant, um... Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her finger along the words of the poem as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah, okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers, and having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form-fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not not just by finding and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. 
It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you a valuable gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can a bit can oh well, wow. Natsuki can be a little bit biased though. Biased? How? Um well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if there's, this is a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, this isn't supposed to be- or isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood, withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe calm breathing air of the present but living in the past the light flickers i flicker back dot 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 i'm sorry i have such terrible handwriting <laughs> what i wasn't thinking that at all but it took you a long time to read uh well i just don't read script very often i actually think your handwriting is pretty eh that's a relief also i like the poem even though it's short, it was very descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. Didn't you just say it took me too long to read? But I remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a, a ghost. Lingering in her past, wait, lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. That's what I meant and soon being left with nothing that's almost more that's a lot more solemn putting it that way i hadn't even thought of that that's impressive eh it's nothing really yours was impressive too so nah if anything i could probably learn a thing or two from you you think so yeah of course uh you know i was really nervous about doing all of this but in the end i enjoyed it I'm gonna keep doing my best for you. Okay. Ah. Me too. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. That picture's back. And I feel like... The music changed for a second there. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica is writing something in her notebook. My eyes land on Yuri and it's like Natsuki. <laughs> I can't read. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, staring, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Oh, this is the argument between the two of them. Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. 
Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Monica liked it, and Light did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Mmm! And Light liked my poem, too, you know. She even told me she was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. The music stopped. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? That's not what I... Uh... You, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Light appreciates my advice more than she appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know that she, he did, she didn't appreciate my advice more? I'm still trying to say she. Are you that full of, full of yourself? Pull. I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliver... Deliber... Oh my god. I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Uh, well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as light started showing up. Natsuki? Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. Taking out your own insecurities and others like that. Jesus. You really act as young as you look, Natsuki. Me? Look who's talking. You want to be an edgy bitch? Edgy? Sorry that my lifestyle is too much for someone of your mental age to comprehend. It's really hard to read this because that's like surprising me. See? Just saying that proves my point. Why is everything getting static? Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know? If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? The only thing cute about you is how hard you try. <laughs> oh, damn. Well, be careful. You might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. Oh, my bad. You already do, don't you? Ouch. Did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the F is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. Let Light hear everything you really think. I'm sure she'll be head over heels for you after this. Uh, suddenly Yuri turns toward me as if she just noticed I was standing here. Light... She's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. How did I get dragged into this? Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Yuri. Mm. Yuri. Uh, Matsuki? Why? Why can't I do anything? Oh my god! Get out of my face! Dot dot dot! She's standing here! Those guys are still staticked out and weird! Dot dot dot! Um... Hey Light! Why don't we step outside for a little bit? Okay... Uh, that was so weird... That didn't happen the first time! <laughs> With the staticky screen and stuff! Sorry about that! They really should have tried to get- they really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. Haha. <laughs> Some president I am, right? I can't even confront my own club, club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. But I never have it in, way, in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. It's a bit much. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. Oh, she's crying. She's upset. She quickly runs away. Oh, dear. Well, it looks like they're done. <coughs> I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth on her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Light. Please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. 
There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about this by tomorrow. Completely. Really. Okay. Dot dot dot. Anyway, the meeting is over. You can go home now if you want. Dot dot dot. Yuri looks at me like she wanted to say something. But she keeps glancing at Monica. You can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit, bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Dot 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 dot. Well, I'm vice president, so... Please let me take that responsibility today. Jeez. Yuri's just fighting with everybody. Kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It's not that. It's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Light. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. Sigh. I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble, but I really appreciate you understand? Jesus! <sighs> Is there anything else? Can you hear me? There's a little devil inside all of us. Beneath their manufactured perception, their artificial reality is a writhing, twisted mess of dread. Loathing, judgment, elitism, self-doubt, all thrashing to escape this fe feeble hold of their host, seeping through every little crevice they can find, into their willpower, starving them all of motivation and desire, into their stomach forcing them to drown their guilt in comfort food or in a newly opened gash in their skin hidden only by the sleeves sleeves of a cute new shirt such a deplorable tangled mess is already present in every single one of them and that's why i choose not to blame myself for their actions all i did was untie the knot all right well i'm gonna save And I'm going to call it done for now. This is just... This is getting really freaking weird with the glitches. The picture of Sayori hanging in the back of the classroom. I think what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to have two different versions. Because I do try to keep my channel kid friendly. So it's going to take some editing. But I'm actually going to edit out some of the parts that are uh, disturbing. The glitchy stuff I'll leave. Because, I mean, why the heck not? But if I swore at all, you can expect me to, well, drop anything other than my normal swearing. Uh, then I'll probably block that out with, you know, a sensor beep like I did with that one uh, when I was playing FNAF 6. I had to bleep myself. And um, when it comes to the more graphic material, I will probably black it out. Um, however, I will also do a version that is not censored like that. Um, and I'll make it link only. So... That being said, yeah, that being said, have a good day, night, whatever it is where you are, and I'll be back soon with another one of these, <laughs> provided that it doesn't scare the crap out of me. All right, and don't forget, uh, I know I said it in the last one, but um, if you like my videos, like, comment, subscribe. I don't usually say stuff like that because I always forget to. <laughs> that, and I don't want to be one of those people that's constantly like, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. But it's always nice to give that reminder. So if you do enjoy this content and you want to see more or you want to hear, like you want to request something, please, by all means, you know, do so. You know, so just if you subscribe and then if you hit the bell next to the subs uh, uh, subscribe button. You'll be notified every time that I upload something. Even if it's something stupid. <laughs> Nobody said you had to watch them. But it's just a nice thought. And also, as I said, this is what I was saying in my last video. Um, I have a Patreon. And I really don't... I try not to promote it too much because, I don't. again, I don't want to be that person. But I... Um, I don't know. I, I felt like I wanted to thank... 
you know, the one Patreon supporter that I have, um, because, because of that money, I was able to get the paid version of, um, a video editor that I was using for free, because it finally stopped letting me use it, and it was being stupid. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm just putting it all out there, so, either way, um, like I said before, have a good day, night, whatever it is where you are, and I'll be back soon. Bye, guys! <laughs>